Hello my Soka Universe, it's probably a, a little bit of a different video. I'm not going to do a full review of what happened on the Premier League because that will have to wait for a little bit later, although I will give you the results and quickly the standings. However, there was one decision that happened on Saturday and probably I had the idea a tad too late, but you know, I, I still want to say, which is of course uh, the equalizer of Manchester United in the uh, Manchester Derby, which they ended up winning 2-1. And it was such a huge decision where as a deep ball onto Rashford, uh, who is clearly offside and Rashford is running with the ball without ever touching it. And Bruno Fernandes, um, seemingly aware of that fact, tells him to uh, not touch the ball. He takes the ball and shoots it in, into the net. And while initially the goal is not given by the linesman who waves the flag for uh, an offside, um, a quick discussion with it. Did he touch it? Did he touch it? No, he didn't touch it. And the, ball, and the goal is given. And I, when I, while watching this, it was not my first reaction like most. This is offside, this is offside, this is offside. No, I said, I have seen that before. And if he really didn't touch it, if VAR can establish that he didn't touch it, and, and I think he didn't even need VAR, if you really didn't touch it, this is going to count. I'm pretty sure of it. And I want to show you why I knew this. This is, I think I want to say fall 2020. If not, uh, yeah, I think fall 2020. Uh, and the game that Lusk played at Admira, which is in the south of Vienna. And I just roll. Uh, I, I just want to roll and show you the goal. Um, because it is so similar. Maybe there's a slight, slight dif uh, difference. A very similar goal. I found it at the mo moment. I was laughing when this was scored. Of course, I was a Lusk fan. Uh, but it was the exact same situation. So I knew it will come down to that. And that's why I understood that the goal for United stood there as well. Uh, with showing this, I know... I will not be able to monetize this video, but so be it because it's really worth showing this particular goal. So let's roll it. The rights are, of course, from Sky Sports Austria. Here it is. You see here, there's a uh, ball. There's Eggestein who is offside. He's taking it. He's not touching it. Then going out, who has played the initial pass, actually, takes up the ball and kind of yelling to not go there. It's really, really a crazy goal. You see it in the replay. He's kind of yelling, don't touch it, don't, don't touch it. I can take it, I can take it. He runs away and then uh, allows the goal to be scored. Now, now, of course, I think the United goal was a little bit more egregious uh, in a way because Rashford really was there running with the ball and they were defending defenders around who didn't know what to do. So for me, the feeling of both of these situations is, of course, it's an offside. However, knowing this, I knew that the rule is that they have to wait to touch it. Now, I'm not calling for this offside law to be changed. Uh, in in like many do, I do understand uh, that even uh, Ten Hag then said, uh, yeah, it smells like an offside, it looked like an offside, it's, it, it should have been called offside. I understand all that. What maybe needs to be there, there is a slight advice you know advice for the referees that you know see, see situations where uh, even if a player doesn't touch it he clearly is interfering with play there because why is he interfering because all the other players involved are thinking that he's on the ball so for me especially in the rash for this situation where Akanji and especially Edison uh, they, they can speculate whether he's offside or not uh, they don't know how to, how to defend. I think this was also a big part in why Bruno's Golden eventually uh, was scored because they didn't know what to do, who, who, to, who to defend. And so the goal was wide open. So yeah, that was very interesting. I think it's a decision that had a big impact on that game. Of course, it allowed United to come back and eventually win it. It also allowed United back into the title race. And it was another uh, dampener for Manchester City. Um, giving you here just the results from last weekend, which you probably, probably know. I mean, the big ones are the Manchester Derby that Arsenal won at, at Spurs. And of course, that Liverpool lost at Brighton. And we'll talk all about this in the next review video for um, the English game. Uh, when, when I get to it, it's also remarkable now that um, it is, according to a model, uh, a, a duel for, for the title with Arsenal for the first time the favourites. 
uh, now for sure. Uh, and United also move, moving in there, maybe potentially getting, being able to get into the title race, although they have a game game more. So something needs to happen there as well, especially if we look at the expected standings. Uh, you see United even now ahead of Liverpool, Liverpool crashing out. So those were my thoughts that I wanted to give to you in a short video before I go into Serie A a little bit later today. But I thought it's worth showing and we'll talk of course a whole lot more about the Premier League on my channel uh, probably in a video next week because there are more big games coming and I think we will get a really good view of how the Premier League title race will go there because there are more challenges for Arsenal, United and of course City. Up until then, bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!